on our way to see Elemental. As many of you know, I have a policy that I never watch any trailers to Pixar films. No trailers, no promotional material, no reviews. I don't watch anything. I want to know, I want to go in knowing as little as possible, especially if it is a original story like this. And let me tell you, for the past month, that's been really, really hard because they have been pushing the marketing on this. And like five or six times now, recently if we go to a movie i am standing by the door during the previews in case the elemental trailer plays so i can step into the hallway for a couple minutes and then come back in so like literally the only thing i know about elemental is that it focuses on two characters one is like a flame female looking character and one is like a blob of water i i know i've seen in some of the other adds there are other characters that are along the same i assume elemental um, theme i know literally nothing about the story i don't know if it's like a fantasy world or if it's some personification of the elements uh nothing whatsoever so i'm going in completely cold literally the worst i've heard about the film in terms of like critical response or anything like that is that it's just it does that it's not getting a lot of hype that's the worst i've heard about it i think maybe the harshest criticism i've heard and again i haven't sought out critiques or anything but the harshest i've heard is that it pales in comparison to spider-verse in terms of the quality of animation or the uniqueness of animation which is fair enough but i have also been very adamantly defending pixar that they have been going against the grain in many of their recent projects and people have not been giving them credit for that. Oh, and I know that it is directed by Peter Stone, who is the voice of Chicho from Luca. That is his only claim to fame in my eyes. I don't know anything about the cast. It could have a star-studded cast for all I know, uh, but we'll see. There we go. Thumbs up. One big thumbs up. Maybe two, but really, really good film. It was really good. I don't understand people who say that Pixar has lost their touch because they never did. It's just there's more animation studios that are catching up finally, basically. But that doesn't mean that anything that they put out now is any less good than it used to be. And this is definitely, definitely evidence of that. I'm not going to spoil the film uh, at all, but if you want to have the same experience as me of not knowing anything going in, then just skip this last part. I think there's going to be very obvious comparisons to Zootopia, but I, I do think that there was more room for like actual world building than kind of making cute references or just like kind of cutesy scenarios that happen in Zootopia, whereas like this kind of felt like a fully fleshed out world. It was an experience in their world, not right. a purity on ours. Right. So I didn't know literally until last week that Peter Stone was Asian. Um, I think I saw a picture of him because he voices uh, Genki and Spider-Verse, but um, that was pretty important information going in. Um, and I could, I really loved that it felt like a personal experience that he went through, but in some of these other more personal experiences, like, like, uh, Onward or Turning Red, those are also very clearly intimate, uh, personal stories to their respective directors, but those felt more alienating than this one. It, if... This one really brought you into it a lot more than I would say those, those ones did. If I were to make just one criticism, there were many points that were a little predictable, but I say that as a dude in my 20s who's watched a lot of movies, and like if I watched this when I was eight, I wouldn't have said the same thing. I will say that it is refreshing to, have, to, to just be able to go to a fun family film that isn't riddled with identity politics. It's just a nice story that no matter your background you can just enjoy and um but that it's still distinct from the sort of stories that pixar would tell 20 years ago but it doesn't have to have an agenda in order to do that another way that this 
reminds me of old Pixar is the fact that this is a fantasy world in which countless adults are going to be questioning um, the biological ramifications of some of these characters the way that people have been for like Cars or Toy Story for decades when it's not that important. And another thing that I picked up right away that I get my wife didn't uh, immediately was that the fire people were clearly supposed to be representation of like uh, Asian immigrants. But what I liked is that it didn't have to. It could also represent, like you said, Germans and Polynesians and right. the Irish. Like any community. Yeah. Any community that has like tried to start that, like any immigrant community. And so that's why I like that. It didn't feel as alienating as something like turning red. Anyway, that was a great film. And I don't care if there's not enough buzz or if people just say it's okay. It's still a great, a great time. And the visuals make it worth seeing in theater. So anyway, recommend it.